Hi, my name is Karim Rafa. Welcome to Coffee and Conversations. I'm here with Amoton from Synspective, founder and CEO. Hi. Good to see you. Good to see you. Thank you for making the time today. Thanks. So before we get into it too much, can you tell me a bit more about yourself, your company, what you really do and what your plans are for the future? Okay, so uh, my company is Japanese startup. We are going to develop small radar satellite and we are going to build up the constellation. It's a multiple satellite uh, monitoring system for Earth ground. We also uh, provide the solution service to specific company and the government uh, through uh, machine learning technology. So we are going to launch our first satellite uh, early next year, mm -hmm. 2021. And after that, our first target is six satellite constellation by the end of 2022. Can, can you tell me a bit more about the constellation itself, how it looks, how it works? I imagine a mesh network of sorts, is that right? Okay, so our constellation is, uh, okay, so for example, six constellations can get the ground data daily. Each of the satellite uh, focus on the yeah, specific uh, cities and uh, they can provide uh, the yeah, daily data about economic activity in cities. So we can select the area to okay. be uh, captured, but the, uh, for economic activity, uh, the city area is good for that. Yeah. All right, great. Can you tell me how the progress has come on a technological level to allow you to analyze this data so fast and from a satellite this small? Mm. Yeah, so our, our satellite is a uh, very innovative one. The size of the satellite is about 100 kilograms. Uh, it's, uh, I think, it's 10 times uh, less than the conventional big radar satellite. And the yeah, cost is very special. The cost to uh, produce the satellite uh, is less than 5 million US dollars. And it's uh, 20 times less than the conventional one. So it's very uh, small. It means it's very, uh, how can I say, uh, low cost for mm -hmm. a launch. And uh, also it's very low uh, producing cost. So uh, we can make the multiple uh, satellite modern system constellation. When it comes to managing the data, when you put it all, when you make the data available, mm -hmm. can you tell me more about how that plugs in? Uh, how do you, how do you process the data? Who is it meant for? Okay, we utilize machine learning technology to identify uh, the change between the different time uh, series, and uh, we identify the object on uh, the specific data, and then uh, we can uh, detect the information. Uh, from the data itself. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we can uh, make the application uh, package mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. as a solution, and then we provide it to other uh, specific customers. For example, civil engineering company and uh, mega banks, yeah, also uh, governmental use. Uh, so what would a, what a, would a large bank use this data for? Yeah, so yes, for example, uh, if you want to know about the big retail uh, company. Mm -hmm. uh, the, I think the retail store have the very big car parking. And then uh, if we use uh, the satellite data, we can count up the old cars in the parking every day. And the banks can estimate the, how do I say, uh, the sales mm -hmm. of uh, from the other day. So especially for uh, financial players, the information is very important. Real time information is very important. The data of this sort that comes through imagery, radar, and so on, on a global scale, has a lot of players at the moment. Yeah. With that in mind, there is a move towards a more open source application, so shared da yes, sharing data. Yes. So what are your views? Have, should there be fewer, yeah. very optimized, smaller players mm -hmm. that you know package and sell these solutions, mm -hmm. or should it be more of an open source data of imagery, and then smaller players can play with the yeah, data? Yeah, it's very good point, I think. So uh, I think uh, uh, it's uh, one of our goal for uh, data providers, but the, we need roadmap, and the roadmap should be uh, how can I say? Not should be, but uh, anyway, it can be decided uh, by technology progress. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay, in satellite case, I think the important uh, indicator is uh, resolution level, spatial resolution level, and the frequency to okay. get the data. And the academic user and the governmental user needs the accumulated data. Uh, I mean the historical data. Mm -hmm. It's very important to uh, making policy or, uh, how can I say? 
to course. study about yes the something evidence from that. That's a change over time. So yes. So mm. um, with radar, you get access to imagery at night. Mm. Like you said, machine learning can tell you how many cars are in a parking ah, lot. Okay, okay, yeah. What do you think would be a new point we could go towards using this data that you already yes. have? Okay. So okay, when we use optical data, uh, it's very easy to identify an object. Uh, on the picture. So uh, I think it's very important to use the both of data uh, as a mix uh, big data. So I think uh, the radar data uh, can improve the uh, current optical data use. Uh, the, we it's, can extend it. It's really more. relying on the machine learning, I guess, to make the best use of the optical data and the yes, it's also use important. So once you have both of these in the machine mm -hmm. algorithm is trained, what would be trained to do, in your opinion? Mm -hmm. uh, what would be an exciting feature mm -hmm. that you maybe don't have yet, that you're working on, mm -hmm. anything there? What, what do you think uh, the future is for this? Hopefully, uh, business users and a government, uh, government user uh, try to make the new uh, use case uh, in the specific uh, area, for example, uh, infrastructure development and uh, the financial uh, estimation. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think it's a very important point uh, for sustainable development. Uh, we can use our radar data for uh, monitor the cor uh, corruption or illegal activity in a specific project. And uh, we can see uh, this uh, illegal activity in whole country. Mm -hmm. uh, so. Uh, I think uh, current investment for the sustainable development uh, sometimes uh, doesn't work well. It doesn't work well. So um, It'd be a new line of investigation at a national level, yes, right? There. So it means the efficient uh, investment uh, mm -hmm. for sustainability is conducted or uh, will be conducted in every country. So I think this is uh, our, how can I say, game changing. That is that's definitely game changing. Yeah. <laughs> So you've mentioned your geospatial data applications in the mm -hmm. past. Could you elaborate a bit more, see where, it really, where, where it's really going, being used? Uh, the, one of the strong points of the uh, geospatial data use, uh, especially satellite data, is uh, easy to get the data uh, if even in, in the remote place and the unreachable place. So uh, I think it's good for making the combination with IoT devices uh, in the city area or uh, how can I, how can I say economic activity mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. area, but both of them are uh, utilized uh, to develop the new uh, solution uh, for the broad area, including the city area and the rural area. Uh, so a mix, so a mix of on the ground sensors with satellite imagery. Yes, and not only for that, but also the airborne, uh, the picture, mm -hmm. uh, or the yeah, smartphone GPS data. So everything is going to be integrated to uh, one big data and we can utilize it. Yeah, not only our company, but also uh, the other many governmental users or uh, commercial users. So a big yeah, open source to, library of data of yes. any specific geography. That's yes. amazing. Try to build up the, the application to use that. So I think uh, it's very uh, bright future. Very bright future indeed. I'm afraid that's all the time we have today. Yeah. Thank you all for watching. It's a pleasure having you here. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thanks so much.